anything. This is Alessandra today and we're going to make a quick spaghetti with tuna, delicious tomatoes. Uh, the beauty of this plate is that you could uh, most certainly will have the ingredients in your pantry and the other amazing thing that it within 20 minutes from the stove to the table you could be eating. Now I am, we are in quarantine, so I'm having uh, four other friends join, three other friends join me, and we will we'll, we will be cooking together. Um, let's get started. Like my friends were asking me, okay, so what do we do now? Uh, put on a pot of water that you're going to be boiling the pound of spaghetti in. A, a large frying pan because we're not going to drain the pasta. We're going to take it from the water into the um, condimento, into your sauce right here, and finish cooking it up um, at the salt. This should feed four, three, four, or five people. Five people might be stretching it. So a pound of pasta is usually a, a good meal for four people. Okay? So now. The olive oil, I would say a quarter of a pot, but you're going to cook this simultaneously. Start boiling the water, put your frying pan on, should be a large frying pan, and we'll take it from there. Okay, are you ladies ready? Yes. The temperature on the pan needs to be high because we need everything sizzling and frying. So put your frying pan high and start putting your oil in. Is everybody ready with that? Okay, uh, you want to coat the bottom of the pan and a little bit more. Now I'm going to have my wonderful husband zoom in closer. Unfortunately, I do not measure the oil. But you know what I do? I make a visual uh, uh, thing in my head. Like this is four to five people. So if you cut your, you know, you figure that much for each person is, believe me, it's plenty. So I'm going to say, okay. Yes, Maddie's zooming it to me, so Maddie, zoom it in so we see it. Now, are you guys ready with your garlic? Peel your garlic, three cloves. I don't use chopping bird, uh, chopping boards. I do everything right over the stove. So here I go. I'm going to slice up my garlic. My oil is beginning to warm up, and I could smell uh, Delicious. deliciousness already, okay? Again, I wish I had more parsley. I have parsley growing in the garden. Guess what? I'm going to throw in maybe one more clove. Let me move the tea. One more clove of garlic. They say garlic kills everything and we need this virus dead. So we want the garlic in our system. My wonderful Antina, she used to always say, uh, she died in 93, she would always say, if they find out that garlic is no good for you, I should be dead already because uh, she would eat a pound of garlic a month. So that goes that, all right? Put in your chili and pepper, what? Okay, then forget it. Forget the parsley. Okay, guys, your garlic should be frying. Girls. No, put just the garlic and the chili pepper in the hot oil. It should be frying right now. Are you guys having it frying? I just put it. I just put it. Okay. All right, you're getting a nice fry. Mm -hmm. Okay, open up your can of tomato too. Uh, Alexandra, can you explain to your group uh, how much the garlic has to be fried? The, okay, that's that's very good, uh, Lynette. I'll tell you why. Because you do not want to burn the garlic. When garlic burns, it's bitter. You're going to throw everything out and start over. So you don't want to do that. So what you want to do is... Have your garlic a golden, uh, uh, not brown, just a golden color, okay? And uh, I think mine is ready. So, ladies, we might not be on the same pace because when my garlic is ready, I cannot let it burn. So, I'm going to... What did you do? Did you take it out? 
What do we take it out? No, I just put my tomatoes in. Okay, I'm going to put my tomatoes in. Hold on, hold on. I forgot to tell you it makes a mess. Not to make the stove a mess is I drag the pan towards the um, sink and dump the tomatoes over the sink so I don't create this disaster I just did. Yep, right, do that. So now your tomatoes are in, okay? Start taking your wooden spoon or whatever you're using. I, I like to use a wooden spoon because this, and also the wooden spoon is a staple in every Italian kitchen because that's what we used to get beating with. When my mother ran around, that's what she, they would either fling the wooden spoon or if they got you on the butt, that's what it was, okay? So now you have the, I'm going to hire the, hire the, um, the flame on the water. Okay. Yeah, already did that. Okay. So now bring your sauce, your tomatoes to a nice boil with the olive oil. Okay. And now add your olives. Okay. I don't have olives. Okay. So you're not putting the olives. Uh, usually, well, the recipe really, the original is with Gaeta olives, but being that we, we are here in America, Gaeta olives are not really easy to get. I would say Kalamata are the closest thing. And usually you find them pitted too, so it makes it easier. Now, we're going to get uh, the can of tuna in. I'm not going to lie, I like to drain the oil from the can. So let me drain the oil from the can and I'll be right back. Uh, yeah, if you really like a lot of tuna in it, sure. How many are you eating? Uh, one can should be okay, but go ahead, put two in. If you want a really rich in protein, go ahead. Okay, I'm putting in my tuna. Again, the tuna, I like a good yellow fin tuna in oil. If you have it in water, it's okay, but it does make a difference with the flavor. The yellow fin is definitely a, a nicer tuna. Guess what, ladies? We're done. Now, this just has to cook down. Yes, my darling. Uh, you want medium high. Lynette, you and I have the same stove, so medium, medium high is perfect. Yeah, you're going to put salt. We're going to put the sea salt in it. Uh, okay, so this is how I measure my salt. Sorry, guys. I can't. This, you go over it, and this is what we do. Okay, and then we taste it in a little bit and see that it's fine. But you want to always to, better to under salt than to over salt because you could always add but not take away. And then we just sea salt. Yeah. Okay, some of the questions. Do not cover the sauce. The, the water needs to evaporate. The tomato needs to thicken. If you cover it, it's going to steam the flavors and you lost everything. So 
Everything is, is, is a quick thing. Okay, you got this frying, you got it going, the water's gonna stop boiling. Then you put it together and we're good to go to have our lunch. Uh, thank you for the incredible question, girls, so that even the audience could understand what's going on. Okay, those are my cooking friends, my beautiful Lynette, Edna, and Barbara. And Lynette, can you give us that mm -hmm again? <laughs> okay. Now, is the water boiling yet? Yours is? Did the oil come up? Okay. I'm gonna give it a little taste. That's mm, perfect. It's uh, nice and um, hard inside, so that means I'm ready for the next step. Okay, I'm gonna lower my my pasta, the wo boiling water, but I'm gonna high put the flame higher on the sauce. And here we go. So don't okay. This was the, the idea to get the large frying pan because you're putting everything together. Okay, here we go. Can you hear it fine? If you get closer, you could hear the, the noise. I'm gonna put in my parsley. I know it's not enough, but like I said, I don't have any more and I'm not going out to just buy parsley, but I will put it on the shopping list. Now I'm gonna use my wooden spoon to gently roll, fold in. Wow, the smell, I wish you could smell through the video. Okay, look at this. Now I see that the spaghetti is still, the, actually it's linguine I used, hard. So I'm gonna put some of the water to add a starch and it gives it a creamy texture. Yes, Lynette, I'm sorry, my darling. Yeah, just mix it up. The, par the parsley is for flavor and color. As you could see, it, it kind of gives you the Italian flag. So you have the red, white, and green. Just like the pizza margherita, how special is that? You have the red, white, and the, the green, just like the flag. Okay, you hear it? You hear it? It's now it's finishing up its cooking and gathering flavor. See that? Okay, now, I'm gonna let you in a little secret. When, when, um, uh, when you get served first, that's not really love. Because when you get served first, that's the one, the, the plate with the least fla flavor. So my daughter Soraya knows and she wants to be served last because what's basically at the bottom is this. Mary, zoom in. And that, you see that? Like if you're serving all the pasta on top, but at the bottom, this is what you got. All the beauty, the extra oil, the extra tuna, the extra flavor. And she knows that very well. So she always says, uh, Mama, a me per ultimo, which means, Ma, serve me last. She's got it. She's got it all figured out. Okay. I think we're ready to go. What I'm going to do, the pasta looks really cooked. The liquids are absorbed. Everything, um... Looks ready. Okay, now what I'm going to do is put everything in my, in the serving plate. Okay. There we go. Now, notice that by doing this, you also omit it during a colander. So that's one less item you gotta wash. 
because me being the wife and the mother and the um and uh, the lady that cleans the dishes shouldn't say that my husband does them quite often um the least amount of things i could dirty up makes me the happiest now let's go for i'm gonna grab an olive of course like i said this is not the best um to be served first but let's see okay i'm gonna grab a little piece of the olive the tuna Mm. Ladies, how is it? Oh my God, delicious. Quarantine, 15 minute meal. You, you'll make your family happy, yourself happy. Please try it. Be safe, stay healthy, love you all. So how is it? Edna, you eating already? Mm. I don't know, I have too much disturbance in here. Oh, 